Today I'm going to look at this USB colour display tester from Rui Deng Company. Uh, this is the UM24C and as you can see here it's a USB charger doctor and it comes in a really nice tin. Um, I've been quite impressed with the packaging and there we have some more information including a QR code to scan to get this rather long uh, URL address into your phone or what have you. Um, but there's the device itself in a nice bit of foam packing and it seems to be quite well made. There's uh, three layers of PCB there separated by these uh, brass separators and uh, yeah a nice big screen USB in USB out uh, two buttons on the bottom two on the top and also a micro USB connector there on the top as well. Now I've zoomed in a bit closer to the screen here so that we can see everything a bit larger and uh, that screen is a little over an inch uh, two and a half centimeters wide and uh, it's reasonably square about the same um, top to bottom as well but if i turn on my usb power bank here we can see there it is the um24 and uh, it's showing at the moment that we've got five volts on that power bank and uh, just six milliamps flowing and i think that's the consumption of the device itself the temperature in the top right hand corner is showing nine degrees celsius here in the shed where on group zero this does have a number of memories that you can use and it's showing zero milliamp hours zero milliwatt hours and it's just gone off because there's no load and this uh, power bank switches off let me find a load so here we have an electronic load on the right hand side it's drawing just 250 milliamps but that's enough to keep my power bank up and running uh, so the screen is showing five volts exactly there on uh, the voltage 250 milliamps and down here on the left hand side in red which isn't showing up terribly well uh, 11 milliamp hours of uh, accumulated um, capacity uh, taken out of this power bank and uh, dissipated in the electronic load and that equates to uh, 62 milliwatt hours at this 5 volts and we've got 1.23 watts being drawn by the electronic load. This is also showing a figure here of 20 ohms and uh, I think we'll need to come back to that later and the screen has just gone off. We can see that the load is still drawing power, that it's not the power bank that's gone off, it's the screen. So if I just press that button, that brings the screen back to life. We're still accumulating all the details, but we've saved the power of that screen. Um, I assume it's thinking we don't want to use that all the time. So these purple sections down here suggest what these buttons are going to be doing underneath, help and next, and also the purple section at the top shows that we're on the first screen of quite a few. If we press the help button, we can see that it tells us what else to do with those buttons. A long press of that one will rotate the screen to the left, for example. So we'll press that top button and the screen rotates to the left, press it again, and it goes back to the standard position. Press and hold the help button and it uh, resets all these uh, accumulated figures to zero. And after a few seconds of flashing, it will start counting again. Um, and uh, press and hold the next button and it changes the group. There are 10 groups uh, that can, uh, 10 memories, I guess they're referred to as groups 0 to 9. And uh, you can quickly move through them by pressing and holding next. And uh, now we're in group one, which has no data on it whatsoever. So uh, we could go back to uh, zero. And now that we're back to zero, uh, you can see those accumulated milliamp hours uh, since I reset this device. Now on the second screen here, we can still see the voltage and the current, but we're also seeing the uh, D plus and D minus voltages. This is what both Apple and Android phones use to uh, negotiate a reasonable charge for the device. Um, I do have a quick charge 2.0 3.0 trigger so let me plug that in while well, the screen's off anyway. 
So we can see I've plugged in my quick charge uh, trigger board here, which is set to quick charge 2.0 and the 9 volt setting and we can see 9 volts here still got that 240 250 milliamps um, going through and uh, yeah so it's showing that the d plus is at 3 volts and the d minus is at less than 1 volt 0.6 volts and if i uh, change that mode increase it there's the button we can see we're now in a 12 volt mode and uh, you can see actually it says mode quick charge 2.0 and now the d plus and d minus are both less than a volt in fact if i change that to quick charge 3.0 and wake the screen up um what does it say it says mode unknown sadly let's uh, see if we can increase the voltage and whether that will tell it no it still says mode unknown but we can see the d minus is um, 2.7 volts and the D plus is 0.6 volts so that's quite interesting in the next screen it shows in large the accumulated milliamp hours and the accumulated milliwatt hours also a clock to show how long we've been drawing power uh, the 200 milliamp figure here is a threshold if the load pulls less than 200 milliamps this stops uh, counting I guess you can adjust that by pressing and holding the next button and that allows you to adjust the figure you press the next button again to toggle through the highest that can be is 300 milliamps and the lowest is zero so if I press and hold next again we come out of that menu and uh, the next button now defaults to uh, moving on to the next screen again. This fourth screen is quite interesting. It's showing here 4.93 volts there because I'm pulling an amp now. So there is naturally a bit more of a voltage drop. The uh, electronic load is dissipating 5 watts. Uh, but as you can see, there's a graphic here which shows a battery on the left, just like I've got the meter in the middle just like me and a resistor on the right hand side and now what I can do is I can uh, log that result that we're getting 4.94 volts at just over one amp by pressing and holding the next button and then we move into the uh, the second section here now this is suggesting we need a battery a cable the meter and some resistance so let me plug in a cable so I've now plugged a cable from the power bank here into the uh, micro USB port at the top of the Rui Deng meter and uh, pressing and holding next move me on to that second section and I think pressing and holding again, um, there we go, calculates uh, the resistance of the cable so it thinks it's about 148 milli ohms now you would hope that that will be quite accurate because all it's doing is calculating the difference there between the 4.84 volts when it was directly connected and the uh, 4.69 volts um, when it's connected through that cable so uh, that's quite um, reasonable and hopefully accurate and the fifth screen is a voltage curve and as you can see this is fairly steady at 5 volts but perhaps if I increase that current a bit we can see that the voltage is dropping ever so slightly and if I reduce that current again without knocking the camera too much the voltage goes back up and as you would imagine the next screen is a current curve so we can see 300 milliamps there and as I increase that to about 500 milliamps so uh, that's a live curve um, but it doesn't uh, show on the screen for very long it wraps around fairly quickly but as you can tell um, this screen here I think is heavily influenced by the YZX Studio USB charger doctors and the final screen here just allows you to change a few options one perhaps I should have changed earlier is the um, how long it takes before the screen goes off perhaps I should have turned that up to uh, its maximum uh, which is probably zero isn't it on all the time but perhaps we do want it turning off nine minutes for example press and hold the next button we move on to the next section and uh, the centigrade offset 
I'm guessing. Uh, but anyway, there we go. And we're back round to the start. The last available menu, uh, you need to press and hold a button while you turn the unit on and you can change the language there and you can zero the current. So uh, I've selected zero current there and now we can see at five volts there is absolutely zero current flowing. Hmm. Well, just fluctuating ever so slightly. So I've connected this up now to my bench power supply uh, to prove that uh, this has a lower limit of 4.5 volts. So if I drop the uh, voltage coming in there, 4.5 there, and uh, well, it does go a little bit lower, 4.25 I found there. So if I increase the voltage back again, switch it off, switch it back on again. So there we go, it did uh, down to 4.3 volts, let's argue. And it also works all the way up to 24 volts. And uh, yeah, we're past 14 volts now, uh, 20 volts there, and uh, all the way up to 24 volts. I, uh, I'm not gonna take it past its maximum. I don't particularly want to damage this. Now, the last thing I thought I'd try was that uh, output impedance figure. Um, so I've got a 10 watt 5 ohm resistor on this uh, USB adapter. So if I turn on the power bank, there we have it. And we can see um, 4.95 volts, just under 1 amp. And this is reading 5.2 ohms. A little bit difficult to see there. So this 5 ohm resistor is showing up here as 5.2 ohms. Well, that's probably only a 5% resistor, if that. So I think we've seen all the main functionality there of the Rui Deng UM24, um, but this is the UM24C. Now, you may be forgiven to think that that is the colour version, but it's not, actually, because the C stands for communication. And down there on the bottom PCB, we can see a communications module soldered directly on there, and that's a Bluetooth BLE communications module, um, so if your computer or your laptop's got Bluetooth, well, you can start communicating with the UM24. And when you load the software, configure it, connect to the Bluetooth COM port and uh, that sort of thing, uh, you get this piece of software which shows the uh, voltage, the current, uh, the power being dissipated and that resistance, which is actually the value of the resistance on the output of the uh, UM24C. But we also get these voltage graphs up here. Uh, there's a green line showing uh, 5 volts and the... Uh, current line there a red one which uh, hopefully should be increasing in a second because i've just increased the uh, resistance there or are we not communicating no we are there we go there you can see the voltage line is creeping up it it a little bit delayed but we can also see the other settings that we've set here the brightness level the auto screen off we can see the d plus the d minus and the temperature so uh, this does display quite a lot of information now the other thing is these graphs have a bit of a secret feature if we right click on them we can see i don't know auto scale there so we can see that step up i did a little while ago from uh, reading zero to we're up to reading 400 and something now uh, but then we can right click as well and export the data to excel here we are in Excel, and this is the current output here, and we've got a, a record number, I guess, on the left-hand side, and then the second column shows the actual current there. Sadly, uh, you don't get a column for voltage. You would have to right-click on the voltage graph and export that information separately, and I guess copy that column from another spreadsheet into this one, and then you can start doing a bit more analysis. Uh, unfortunately, the software doesn't seem to export all the information at the same time, which is a little bit of a shame. So that's my first quick look at the Rui Deng UM24 USB Charger Doctor.
if you're happy to pay what is only a couple of extra dollars you can get the um24c version with that bluetooth module and then you can use that software but that software is a little bit lacking in my opinion but you know that's the sort of thing that they can update and upgrade remotely i bought this from the official rui deng AliExpress shop but it is also going to be made available on Banggood as well and probably lots of other places. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, if you have give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.